Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to transfer bound items via legacy gear. So what I'm going to show you first is I am on my level 55 uh, bounty hunter named Gundot and I'm going to transfer some gear to my level 12 bounty hunter which I'm using as in my Let's Level videos. So this is going to be a little side episode of Let's Level I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some items that are bound. So if I try to send an item to my bounty hunter, I'll try and send one of these, you can see it says item is bound. Okay, any of these orange items that I farmed from doing the Esalus it tells me these are bound. To get round this we are going to use legacy gear. Now I am here on the McKeb on the orbital station and I bought McKeb assault armor. I'll show you a little preview of it. There we go. That's what my bounty hunter will look like. It kind of looks a bit like a stormtrooper outfit. But it is it, you'll see here it says bound to legacy and it's also adaptive armor I should explain adaptive armor basically it's armor that adapts to the highest armor level that you can equip so for example it on me it's heavy armor because you can see it's armor ratings 32 armor rating for gun dot it says here uh, we can equip it as any class. Any class can equip adaptive armor. So what what it will do is if you're a sorcerer for example and you equip this adaptive armor uh, it would give you light the light armor value. Same if you were a sniper or a marauder it would give you medium armor but as a bounty hunter we get the heavy armor value so we can effectively wear robes and still have heavy armor value provided those robes are adaptive armor. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to extract all these mods. Now the mods are still bound but the best way we can unbind these mods is to pop them in here. Yeah that warning, just ignore that warning. It says you're about to bind McKeb assault armor to you but when we hit apply it's still bound to legacy because it just, just gives you that message I don't know why it gives you that message so it doesn't matter also where I put this armor uh, but at end game the armoring I'll show you here becomes locked to the slot so we took that armoring out of a chest piece we'd have to put it in another chest piece but while leveling I can put it take it from a chest piece and put it in the legs sorry the feet and put it in this set of boots here. Alright, so I'm going to take these shields which all have crystals in them that I don't need. And I'll pop them in. I do this simply because it just saves me farming the Black Talon in a group as a bounty hunter because you're never guaranteed to get the drops. So I just find this a lot easier. Alright. Oh, I've not got one for the helmet. Oh, I don't need the chest one because I got the chest piece. I could pull them out. Depending on the mods that you remove, it's, there's going to be a cost to it. So the better mods you've got in it, the more expensive it's going to be. I'm going to take them out of that chest piece. So it's only costing us 155, 55 credits at a time. That's not bad. We'll put it in the helmet because I already have a chest piece. I'll need to get two weapons to send over. I'll need to get me one. I've only got one pistol I believe. But I don't know where that is. But it's the same principle that applies to weapons. Uh, note that at end game you can only send weapons that are the same type via legacy. Like you can't. For example I can't send one of my barrels that was in a pistol to a commando who uses an assault cannon because they're bound by type. If that makes any sense. I don't know why they've done this. It's also bound by the hand you put it in so I can't take an offhand item and put it in the main hand as well. So we're gonna 
go and send it to our bounty hunter and you'll see this time oh, that's the wrong tab I've opened pressed O instead of I so you can see now these are not bound we can send them if we try to send that armor just tells you item is bound so we can now send this to our bound I can send this to my level 12 mercenary and I'm gonna hop over to my level 12 mercenary Okay, so I'm back on my level 12 mercenary and I just have to go and find a mail terminal, which is just over here. Right here you can see gun dot and I have all this gear to equip here. It should all be better. As you can see it's all green, apart from the headpiece, which I don't have a headpiece, so that's the reason why it's not showing up, so I'm going to this over here, pop up the inventory. Oh, I got a box from last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract these mods from my chest piece. I have enough credits to do it on this character. And I'm going to put it in the chest from here. There we go. Alright, so now I've got a full set of orange gear. I'm just going to equip this orange gear and you can see She's now looking quite nifty in her Stormtrooper outfit. You can do this with any outfit. Really, I'm going to hide her head slot. You can do this with any. Um, if you want to find legacy bound items, my advice would be not to use the legacy vendors on Dromund Cass, as the gear is very expensive and restricted to a certain class. And it's also not adaptive armor. I would use the reputation vendors. Um, you'll find them in a lot of places. Places like Section X. Um, CZ198, Oricon, and McKeb is where I got these things from. So anywhere where there's reputation vendors, most of their gear is all legacy bound. So it does allow us to transfer bound gear between alts. And so thank you for joining me for this guide as to transferring bound items from one alt to the other. And I will see you soon and I will get more Let's Level episodes uploaded with this mercenary here. She's now up to level 12. So thank you for joining me and goodbye.